Hi right, guys, Dave Mad Max for uh, Digital Muscle and I have the great pleasure today to have my good friend Dwayne Comina who just kicked ass as his very first pro show this weekend, this past weekend at the Europa 212 Phoenix. Uh, Dwayne, thanks for coming to Venice, man. Yeah, pleasure to be here. <laughs> so Dwayne, we met a year ago when you got your pro card at the USA in the lightweights division. Yes. Kicked butt over there. People were just very, very impressed with you, like a small flex wheel. You look, you took a whole entire year off. You went for your ver very first pro show at this at this Europa and kicked ass over there. Qualified for the Olympia already at your first pro show. How do you feel, man? I feel great, man. <laughs> yeah, all my hard work is paying off, so that's, that's that, what counts. That is unbelievable, man. So we're going to do some chess today, right? Yes. And I want to talk to you because you have a great story, you have a great prep coach that we want to mention. Uh, so I'm so, so glad that you're here. And I was listening to uh, RX uh, Muscles radio show yesterday and people were like, who is this Dwayne Comina guy? Who is it? So now they're going to know who you are. So I'm really glad to have you right after. So I really Definitely. appreciate it, man. All right, let's get in there. Hi right, guys, so it's the man, Dwayne. Congratulations for last weekend, man. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy for you, and um, and I wanted to, uh, since you're a new face uh, in the bodybuilding world, uh, this is gonna be your uh, baptism <laughs> video videos. <laughs> and uh, I had the chance to actually met you uh, just over a year ago, um, actually with with Blue, your your coach, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, at the USA when you got your pro card as a lightweight. What did you weigh uh, when you won that, that pro card in Vegas? Uh, 154 pounds. 154 pounds, so right on the nose. And uh, tremendous physique, tremendous uh, you know, body. And of course, um, I thought it was an easy win for you to, to get that. And uh, you decided to take, you and Blue decided to take the entire year off. And did you actually had planned to, you cho chose it, that show? The Europa, yeah. Yeah, that's the one you chose. And um, why did you decide to wait so long? I just wanted to make improvements. My back was lacking, so we needed to improve my back. So we wanted a solid year to bring my back up. Wow. And we definitely did. So you actually went up, to, so you, you told me you went up from 154 in the USA to about 220 in the off season, correct? Yeah. Wow. And then what, what did you compete at last weekend? I weighed in at 195. So 195. So you only lost 25 pounds from your top weight in the off season yes. and I have to say you know I've been following you since you know since I've met you of course at the USA all the journey all along and you know, of course I'm friends with Lou also which is a great coach um, how long have you been working with with Lou? been working with Lou four years now four years now and how many times was that that you did the USA when you got your pro card that was my second time doing USA it's wow the first time I took second place wow so you're almost a, a one-hit wonder yeah <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah. so um, you know, when I saw, you know, your progress in the off-season, I was like, ma, I mean, I remember you some, you know, from the USA on the stage, and of course you were su such a condition, mm -hmm. and uh, see you going all the way up to 220, you actually look bigger than that, you know, mm -hmm. on the pictures, um, but it seemed to me like you guys found a way to really only lose body fat at all, and no muscle, yeah. if I could say, I mean, because you were, you know, huge on stage. Yeah. Um, so, how was the diet? Talk to me about this diet versus the USA and how did you guys make so much progress? So USA's diet was pretty rough. We had to lose 66 pounds to make weight oh, wow. for USA's diet. So we're eating about four ounces of fish and then we had one carb meal, a quarter cup of grits on Saturdays. Oh my God. For about five or six weeks so we could make weight. So we sacrificed a lot of muscle oh to God. make weight. So this time it was a lot easier. Um, I had a quarter cup of grits every day. Basically, my body responds really, really well to carbs, so we have to limit it. And yeah, just basically rocked out like that. My appetite, it was, it was pretty insane. Um, there was times I was eating a pound of tuna. In oh my one god! Sitting. Yeah, I told Blue, he was like, "Bro, that's way too much, man. You need to cut back." I just, I couldn't stop eating. So really, it paid off. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, 
So four years together with Blue, and 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 uh, obviously he must be so proud of you. Oh yes, right now. He definitely. He knows we're here today. He knows we're shooting. Yeah. Wow. So talk to me about how it feels to go to your first pro show, to to win against someone as as good as Sean Correa, because he's no joke, man. You yeah. know he competed five times this year, mm -hmm. made the Olympia, got second in New York, came close very time, yeah. finally qualified, went to the Olympia, just got second place at oh third place at the Asian Grand Prix, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, um, Right. Third in Kuwait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kuwait. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you beat the guy, which mm -hmm. it could have gone either way. A lot of people, a lot of the experts saying, mm -hmm. "Wow, who is this new kid? We know who he is. He's yeah. really good." It could have gone to Sean. It could have gone to you. You got the nod by only two points. I heard mm -hmm. on the scorecard. But a win's a win. You must yeah. be, you must be really proud. I'm very proud. Um, coming towards the end of the prep. I was starting to get burnt out and I remember I was like okay I'm gonna go to bed I need to sleep like I'm super tired <laughs> and Bodybuilders Without Borders posted the updated list and I saw his name on there I was like Sean Clarita I was like okay bet I was like he wanna jump in three days before I was like I got this I remember I got up I did 10 rounds of posing man it just fired me up I was like okay they always compare me to him like who would win like I don't think you could take him so it just fired me up and as soon as I heard he was doing it I was motivated man. I was killing my cardio I was getting I was like we about to get it man and it definitely paid off great guy though um, he helped me backstage give me tips advice and we went out hang hanged out afterwards had some dinner um, bullshit and yeah really good guy we're still in contact now so. I'm so glad I'm so glad that you got to meet him Sean like you said he's a great guy he's a great champion and uh, is a good person yeah. but I'm also really glad to see that you know sometimes people talk about the politics out of politics and bodybuilding mm -hmm. it's nice to see that someone who technically is unknown such as yourself going his first pro show and because he's good enough to win even though it's close yeah. between him and the guy who's been competing for a while who just came up from the Olympia who's obviously on the roll this year mm -hmm. gets the nod not to say I don't think anybody would have been obsessed if Sean won because mm -hmm. it could have gone either way but it's yeah. nice to know that you don't always need a name to win and this is the proof huh yeah it's definitely a lot of people thought coming out from USA's at 154 pounds what is he gonna do in the in the pro league he's not gonna do anything I heard it many times and I'm just like in the back of my head like, <laughs> they don't know me like I'm gonna show them and yeah I definitely I definitely put in the work and made huge gains and I'm super happy what me and blue accomplished oh my god yeah so um, so what is the plan right now uh, Sean are you gonna I mean the good the good news is you're already qualified for the Olympia mm -hmm. so you can take the whole entire year off make yes. some progress just like you did this the downfall to that, as I was telling you off camera, is that once you don't compete for a while, yeah. people have a tendency to forget about you. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? We're going to take time off and grow. We want to make my back even bigger, and we want to put on some more mass. So we're thinking we're going to step on stage around 200 to 207 pounds, and I think it's very possible um, without the limitations of having to make weight and suffer and do yeah. a whole bunch of cardio. Yeah. I think I'm going to look pretty crazy come to Olympia, so I'm super excited about it. Wow. What what is Blue? Uh, what I mean, what? Tell me a little bit of uh, Blue's feelings since the last weekend. And I mean, ah, uh, yeah, Blue. He didn't know which way it was gonna go, so we we're like, he was like, you gotta stay tight, man. You gotta stay tight. It's close, like, and it's so funny because I was look, comparing myself to USA's, and I was like, bro, I was like, I'm off, man. I'm off. He's like, no, you're good. You're good. I was like, Blue, I'm fucking off, man. He's like, <laughs> like, trust me, you're good. You're good. And I'm just freaking out, man. And it always happens. I'm always nervous before I step on the stage as soon as I step on the stage I'm just ready for it man like let's get it so and this is why you need a good coach or a good eye because sometimes I think we lose our sp perspective yes close yes. to the show you're not thinking clearly no more because it's you you know yeah. so I, I, I got a chance to and I gotta tell you I I'm so glad you won because first of all you know I got a chance to meet you last year I got to meet blue you guys are good people mm -hmm. and it's nice to know that with hard work and and a good coach you know what can be accomplished in one year I mean if you actually put on 40 pounds mm -hmm in two contests in about one year time i can only imagine i mean another you know five to ten pounds yeah. com compared to you know for next year's olympia i think it's like you know i think it's easy yeah compared to that but uh um, i'm so excited you came today thank you for making the four hour drive from yeah, your home definitely i've never been to gold's venice so wow this is pretty awesome experience I'm yeah super new to the sport so i'm still learning and collecting all the information I can. give your social media man people want to find you they want to learn about you they want to follow you what is your uh all your Instagram and Facebook and all uh, that My stuff. Instagram, you can type in Dwayne Kwamina. Um, it'll pop up as King Q. Um, spell it, spell it. Uh, Last -W -A -Y -N -E name. D-W-A-Y-N-E 
last name Q U A M I N A. Okay. And it'll, it'll pop up. Um, same thing for Facebook, Dwayne Kwamina, and YouTube. I believe it's um, Dwayne Kwamina underscore bodybuilding. But you can find the link on okay. my um, Instagram. Great, great, great. So we're gonna see you again, and you come back and shoot me before oh, you Olympia. Definitely, it's an awesome gym. I'm definitely gonna come back here. It's worth the four hours. Yeah. Maybe you want to stay stay a couple of days next time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Dwayne, for coming today. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. How was it to, shoot, to compete with him? I mean, you it know, was he, good. He helped me backstage, gave me tips and he's stuff. He's such a so, nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have to. So no, I but he, he remembers what it's like to be a rookie. It's nice when they yeah, remember, yeah. you know. Yeah. You'll do the same later when you're yeah, when course. you're older. Yeah. <laughs>